I wish I had this tool 10 years ago as a graphic designer, but now it's finally out. The guys at Logo Express are launching the Logo Package Swatch. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. What you wanna do is go to Window, click Extensions, and you see when you download it, you'll have Logo Package Swatch. Once you click that, you'll see you'll get this box. I've attached it to the right side. So I've got a logo here that I've created. Now, all I gotta do is click New Project, and I'm gonna call this Pixel Forge. And then I'm going to select my logo here and I'm going to click add selected colors. It's automatically going to add those colors, the cyan, the violet and the white, as you can see there, which is super cool. Now, what it allows me to do is if I click on it, it's going to give me the hex code, the RGB, the CMYK, the HSL all in one go. Now, what I can actually do is I can actually delete any of the colors just by clicking the little bin. I can also click this these two squares, which is basically copy to clipboard. So if I click that, I can press the T tool and for the type box, press control V and it will paste all the color details right in text. Then I can go ahead and change the font. Let's go maybe Odella and we'll change it to white, edit the letting, just like that. Super cool. Now back in the day, when you're doing like a brand guidelines, you'd have to go ahead and screenshot. So I can rename this, I can call it like, you know, bright uh, neon turquoise or something, you know, whatever it is. Um, if, if I just wanna copy the like CMYK, I can do that and just copy that, which is super cool. Everything's editable, super easy to use. Now what I can actually do is I can go to color actions and I can click co copy all colors. And then so now, if I paste that, it's gonna copy all the colors there. So it gave me the elect the violet, the uh, turquoise, and the white. So you can copy individual ones, you can copy the whole, all the colors, or you can actually click make a color sheet. So click color actions, click make color sheet. It literally created a PDF form in like two seconds. It saved all the colors and, and I can actually put this into my brand guidelines or logo guidelines, send it off to the design or to my client. Now, now you can click on project actions as well. You can delete the project open a project as well. So it will save your previous projects in there, which is cool. Uh, I can actually go new project as well if I want to do a new one. I can also click the little cog in the corner and I can actually turn off the codes that I want. So usually I won't use HSB, HML, I'll use RGB, hex, and I'll use CMYK. And if the client is using PMS, Pantone colors, I'll leave that on. So typically this is what I'll use. The color mix format as well, you can change it. I prefer it just to keep it simple. So I'd probably do the middle one like that, and it should save the settings next time we do that. That's how you use it. It's super cool. You know, it's so easy to use. For example, maybe I want to add the colors into this project here. I'll quickly change the font, make it smaller. Let's go like maybe copy and paste. And now I'm creating a Behance project here, right? Maybe I want to show the colors like that and yeah, I'll just delete this. See, okay, I don't need that. And there we go. Put it on my nice little Behance project that I got here. So yeah, as a logo designer, brand identity designer, it's gonna save you heaps of time creating those grep brand guidelines, creating those color codes, because it gives you all of it in just seconds. You don't have to screenshot and manually do it because that would take you at least 40 minutes. So now it just takes you like two minutes. <laughs> so super cool. So if you do want to check it out, I will put a link in the description below. You can also use the code LAUNCH20. The next five days will be, you get 20, percent off if you use that code but hope you enjoy it and if you want to learn how to use the logo package express click on this video here and i'll show you how to use their other tool that saves me heaps of hours exporting my logo files